Welcome back, it's Lionel, tech lead and partner at Westfall and you guys have done it. You guys have done it. I did not want this, did not want, we have got enemies all around us, okay? We've got Angular, we got React, we got called Node.js, right? We did not need to fight another battle with the Python people. In fact, the Python people have been totally innocent. They have not even made a single appearance anywhere. They're very, very quiet. And yet, you guys did it. You put a comment in there on my uh, YouTube video. Uh, this chap, Tom Brady. Tom Brady? Isn't that a quarterback? What are you doing coding in PHP? Anyway, Tom had to bring this up at, on the comment. Give me the difference between PHP and Django and I couldn't resist. I promised the Django people I would do them last. Remember Sally when I promised to kill you last? That's what made you, you did! I lied. But I lied. What can we do? So today, I have to jump onto it in 2020. Three reasons why PHP is better than Django, okay? The first reason is speed, okay guys? Speed. P uh, Python isn't a web language, okay? It's a scripting computation language and I did a video about this a while ago. So when it transferred to the web, it is still very slow. I couldn't find a approximate benchmark for this because there's so much happening in PHP, right? We got 7.4 coming up, we have 8 coming up. But if you have ever worked with it like I have and you've used it, it is so slow. It is like driving a truck versus a, uh, you know, a hybrid uh, Tesla. So. This is why you don't want to use this as a web language. It is just slow and there's very little resource to push that along the way. PHP, on the other hand, is built for the web. It was always meant to do a web language. So that's the first point. Go check out the benchmarks. Try to look through. Yeah, you can probably do some stuff just using Flask as a front end, back end. But at the bottom line, once you boil it down, PHP is fast and getting faster every single day. Second point is the syntax, okay? Um, Python, Django. Django, personally, I do not like a few of the syntax. Now, this is a personal preference thing, but maybe you'll agree with me. Like, for example, the variables have no identifier, right? If you're looking at Python, there's nothing in front. There's no dollar sign. There's no... Uh, definition like JavaScript of var, variable, or let. You just simply designate it. So it works really well for a uh, calculator. Very difficult for beginners to get the hang on, especially if you make variables sound like something that is commonly used. Let's say you call it switch or something like that. So that's the first thing. Second thing with the, um, the syntax, there's no brackets, okay? So when I first started with this idea of no brackets, I enjoyed the whole idea, right? So, you know, you don't have these curly things, you don't have to hunt for them, you use indentations to break up your code. But here's a problem, start, it starts shifting, you know, from one side of the page to the other side of the page. And I start regretting not putting those brackets out there because sometimes you just want to close and open that thing. So that's another problem with Python, right? This whole idea of tabs uh, demarcating the code, not really that great. In fact, if you still love it and you still want to have tabs, PHP has got that now. You can put if and n, uh, and if statements down there and that creates that code block. The final point down here is the documentation. I am talked about this previously and I'm going to talk about it again. Python documentation is horrible, okay? The reason being is that first, they still have this um, old self undead Python 2 that lives in the background. And Python 2 is still very popular with researchers and people who use Python for what it originally is for computation. That is a major problem because these guys still write commentary on it. They still write documentation. And every time you're searching out, you have to look out for, is it Python 2 or is it Python 3? 
And Python 2 is just as popular as Tree and so all over the place. This, the other thing about it, right, is that documentation seems to be written by researchers and academic people. It's very ugly. It's all yellow and texted out. Not really very UI friendly. Personally, when you're working with a lot of this and spending a lot of time, you want your documentation actually looking quite nice. So that is a big point of it. You, if you go on a Stack Overflow, you go into all this kind of stuff, you don't see very many beginner level replies on their documentation because people using Django are usually professionals. They're usually somebody who is already um, gone to university, they have a certain level of code. PHP has a lot more beginners and a lot more beginner questions. That makes it a lot easier for you to learn it if you are not in a academic um, place. So this is a big difference in this level of code. Uh, the documentation you will find, uh, if you are asking a stupid question or very, I wouldn't say stupid, some sort of very limited um, new question, PHP will answer that five different ways, right? There'll be somebody, there'll be a forum, there'll be Stack Overflow, there'll be something that answers that. Python, on the other hand, I have dug through it, and the worst thing I've ever done, right, is I'm going through the documentation, I find out, boom, it's Python 2. Where is that function? You know, you type it in, and it's actually, you're looking at Python 2 documentation. So these are three reasons why you should look at PHP when you want to run, even your, as my last videos talked about, a front end and a back end system. You might want to run, uh, if you're thinking, don't run Django for that, use Flask if you want to use Python, but you could use a E2 uh, API stack that's just as fast, or you can use uh, Laravel. Uh, um, Lumen is a bit, gone off a bit of the, the boiler. People now like Laravel in a much more minimized version headless version. So basically, don't you don't need to use Django. PHP is the winner in this area. It's pretty hands down for the web. Yeah, and that's the bottom line because the tech needs it. So.